Julie, you've been fabulous. Thank you so much. And welcome, everybody. I'm so glad to be here, and I'm glad to uh, be with you on this wonderful day that we're here to strengthen our bones. So, you know, with bone strengthening, it's uh, not really just a one-time shot. You really need to make this a commitment for yourself and do this on a, on a regularly scheduled basis. It's really good for you. Minimum of once a week, and you can do other exercises along with that. Uh, we want to exercise about 30 minutes uh, a day, uh, five days a week, which uh, about 150 minutes total in the week at, at minimum that you want to exercise to keep the body in pretty good shape. So our bones are constantly being remodeled and with old bone uh, uh, being removed and new bones created. Uh, but we, as we age, the rate at which new bones are created uh, is uh, starts to slow down, and eventually uh, we start to lose the uh, the mineral content in our bone or the bone mass, and it makes bones more fragile and uh, susceptible to fractures. So you know when we do in this class when we do a, like a vibration exercise, it's a very effective way of increasing bone density. And it works by stimulating the cells that are responsible for bone formation, uh, leading to an increase in density uh, over time, though. It's just, a, you know, you get good benefit from one class, but great benefit uh, over a long period of time. So when we do weight-bearing exercises, as we're uh, going to do a little bit later on in the class, uh, uh, that's very, very helpful, as well as, uh, of course, eating a healthy diet. So you want to focus on uh, eating highly nutritious foods when you do this. So we're going to begin uh, by starting with three heart opening breaths. So we put the palms in front of the abdomen and inhale, just give it a nice big stretch. <laughs> yeah. And exhale. Doesn't that feel good? Again, through the nose, let's inhale and stretch and exhale. Let's do one more time. Inhale, a great big stretch, and then exhale. Stretching is so good for us. Now with our feet about hip width apart, just throw your arms around from side to side and just relax the body as you do this. And you're pushing down into a hip when you go to a side, so maybe a slight bend in the knees. So you really can do this class standing or sitting. Ideally, you'll stand, but if you're not able to stand then you, uh, you know, the other choice, you just sit. But the important thing is to do the exercises as much as you can, uh, make it work for you. Uh, you know, so you don't have to do everything I do. You want to kind of enjoy the time while you're here. That's the most important thing. And you do what you can. So if you know you're doing something that's going to create pain or make you not feel too good uh, shortly after the class, don't do it. You know, or, or, or modify it a little bit. You can modify anything you want. Now let's bring our arms up to shoulder height. The outside palm goes face up. The inside palm turns down. We're looking straight ahead. Or look towards me. And when you go to a side, still pushing down into a hip. So we have a lot of tissue around the hip area. And you know, sometimes we hear of uh, hip surgeries and things like that, you know? So we wanna strengthen the hip area uh, and we strengthen the muscles around the hips. And as you kind of move the things around and everything, you're going to help increase the bone density as you put stress on the bones because they'll react and they will increase the mineral content as you stress them. So stressing them is doing something a little bit more than your activities of daily living. Now widen your step a little bit and lift up high and stretch. Now stretching is super good for us. Lift up high and reach. Another side and reach. Again, lift up high and lift up high. <laughs> We're gonna stretch through the whole body. So let's just do a little brainwave vibration here or just whole body vibration. So you can just uh, stand with your feet about hip width apart and like bounce the knees and just relax the shoulders. Start getting a vibration into the body. As I mentioned earlier, vibration in the body is really good for stressing the bones. Well, and it's really not much of a stress, but it's very stimulating for the cells in the bones. Helps you form, uh, well, increase the mineral content in the bones and maybe increase your bone density. Uh, as, as well. So um, as you're bouncing the knees, 
Let's just uh, add a little bit of a uh, uh, shake the palms. Yeah, shake them aggressively. Now, you know, my training, when I understand that we have 366 energy centers throughout the body, and all this stimulates these energy centers, which improves the overall flow of energy through your body. So you need the energy flowing good through your body in order for uh, the uh, nutrients to get into the cells, all the cells. So your body doesn't have to work so hard if you're stimulating everything and always having to produce new cells more than necessary. So give your body a little break. You just kind of exercise a little bit. It's really good for you to stress. Keep everything flowing really good. Exercise is good. It should be a, you know, something that we do every day. Uh, now let's add a little wiggle of hips, wiggle of hips. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now let's uh, shimmy the shoulder. Just kind of shake up the shoulders and shake the arms and shake the fingers. Bounce the knees. Yeah. So we're actually stressing our feet when we're bouncing the knees. Actually, we're stressing the whole body a little bit. It's a good stress for our heart rate's coming up. So we're uh, greatly improving our overall circulation. Now, as we shimmy the shoulders, I want you to add bobble ahead at the same time. Just, just kind of relax here. So we're all shook up. Just kind of shake everything, let it all go. Kind of loosen the body. So just get your own rhythm going. And uh, I'd like you to do this a little bit every day. Just shake things up a little bit. It's really good for you. Doesn't take, just do it for a couple of minutes. If you feel like doing it more, God bless you, do more. And it's good for you. All right, now stop and feel the tingling in your fingers. Fingers. This warms us up. This is a great way to start the class. Let's drop the head down, relax the shoulders. Bring your head around to the right and then lift the chin up high and then come down slowly the other side. Let's do two more this way. Through the nose, let's inhale. So your whole body gets into the stretch with the chin up. You're stretching through the body and then exhale, come on down. So bring your mind right into the body again through the nose. Let's inhale on the upswing. Exhaling as we come down. When you get to the bottom, we'll reverse. So here we go. Inhale the other way. Lift the chin up nice and slow. And then exhale. Come on down. Could you feel that stretch in the abdomen when you lift it up? Inhale. Stretch it up. Feel the abdomen. And exhale. Come on down. Some of you might feel the back too. Again, through the nose, you put your whole body into this. Where your mind goes, that's where your energy is. And exhale on the way down and then bring your head up. <laughs> you gotta be here to get the maximum benefit. All right, now uh, let's uh, work on our neck a little bit more. So uh, let's bring our right ear to the right shoulder and left arm comes down. So you're pulling it along the side here. So I have two other classes that I do. I pretty much do the same warm ups in every class. It's just the central body, the exercises are a little bit different but the warm-ups are generally the same because it's good for you. And the conclusions are usually the same. I try to add uh, body tapping to also stimulate bone tissue. Now you can put your hand around if you want, you'll add a little pressure. You don't have to do this. It doesn't have to be that intense. Now let's breathe into it. So when you inhale, feel the body expand and exhale, just relax into that stretch for the neck. Again, I inhale, feel the body rise with the inhale. And then exhale, feel your body relaxing. You can even bend the knees a little bit. Again, inhale, straighten the knees. Now when you exhale, come out of this and just kind of bobble the head a little bit, shimmy the shoulders, get everything back into balance. Now let's go to the other side. <laughs> left ear to the left shoulder. Extend the right hand. So you're pulling on this side here. And again, if you want to increase the... Uh, Pressure, you can bring your hand around and put a little weight there, just a little mildly. Uh -huh. It's not necessary, but it's kind of feels better to me. Does it feel better to you? Maybe. <laughs> Let's inhale and exhale. Just relax a little bit more. Again, inhale, straighten the knees, rise, feel the body expand with the inhale. And then when you exhale, we just kind of get comfortable with the stretch. Again, inhale, just a little bit more. Now, when we exhale, let's slowly come out of this and then just kind of bobble ahead. Just shim the shoulders, just relax the body. Let's do uh, another thing. Let's uh, put
put our right hand behind the neck. We're gonna bring our elbow across and down and then look behind us. We'll do it with the breath. So inhale, bring your body up. Now exhale, come into position. We slightly bend the knees and look behind us and the elbow comes slightly down. Then inhale and exhale a little bit more deeply into that twist. One more breath. Inhale, twisting even more deeply. And then exhale, come out of this. <laughs> and then relax and bobble the head. Let's do the other side the same way. So it's inhale. And then exhale in the position, bend the knees and look behind you. Two more breaths, inhale, and exhale a little bit more to that twist. One more breath, inhale, twisting even more deeply, and then exhale, come on back to the center, and then just kind of bobble the head, and relax the shoulders, kind of loosen up the whole body. Now let's bring our elbows in into the side, make a fist and point our thumbs to the side. We're gonna squeeze our shoulders together. We'll inhale, we'll, we'll rise, we'll exhale, we'll fall. So inhale, we rise and squeeze the shoulders together and then exhale, slight bend of the knees as we come down. This is good for your thighs. Again, inhale, stretch, and then exhale. This is also good for your calves. Inhale, stretch, and then exhale. Super good for the muscles around your shoulder blades. Inhale, stretch, and then exhale, makes four. We're going to do 10 of these, so through the nose, that's inhale, and then exhale, probably through the mouth is the best at this point. Inhale, through the nose, and then exhale, always inhale through the nose. Inhale and stretch, and then exhale, make six. Inhale and stretch, and then exhale, three more. Inhale and stretch, and then exhale, last two. Inhale and stretch, and then exhale one more. Inhale, give it a big stretch, and then exhale no more. Then inhale up, and then exhale, shake the palms out. I forgot to mention when you make a fist, kind of put pressure on the fist, make them tight, so you get a little isometric action there. It's good for your hands and improves your circulation. We have a lot of energy centers in our hands. Let's bring our hands up to shoulder height, make a fist, tight fist. And then Knees are soft to begin. So we'll inhale up and squeeze and then exhale down. Let's try it the opposite breath. So start with an inhale first. So inhale and then exhale, rise and then inhale and then exhale then inhale. Let's try it a little bit differently. Let's inhale and then exhale, pull, then inhale, rise and exhale, pull. Now I got it. Inhale, rise, and then exhale, pull. Inhale, rise, and then exhale, five more. Inhale, rise, and exhale, squeeze. Inhale, rise, and exhale, three more. Inhale, rise, and exhale, two more. Inhale, rise, and exhale, we fall. Inhale, rise, and exhale, one more. Inhale, rise, and exhale, no more. Then inhale, rise, and exhale. Drop the arms, shake the palms, shim the shoulders, bobble the head. Now, uh, let's uh, work on a little stretch for our legs. Uh, so we're gonna do like a waist rotation, but actually we're gonna uh, impact uh, both hips as we come down and rise up. And then as we move the torso across, we're gonna stretch the back of the leg. So you wanna have your feet between hip and shoulder width apart, not too wide, and then put your hands in the hips. We'll come down your right side first. I'll go to the left, so I'm on the same side as you. So we start with an inhale up. Now exhale, just hinge at the hips. You're not curving the back. Remember, wanna protect the back. And then move across the body. So you're stretching through the back of the legs. As you inhale up, feel it in that right hip. As you exhale down, feel it in the left hip, and then move across the body, stretching through the back of the legs, then inhale up. We'll go one more time around as we exhale on the downstroke, moving it around through the stretch in the back of the leg, and inhale up. Now hold it here, we're going to reverse. Now exhale down the other way, head up. Now feel it in your right hip, Moving it around as you inhale up, you'll feel it in your left hip. And exhale down, feel it in your right hip, stretching through the back of the legs. And inhale up, you feel it in your left hip. One more time as we exhale on the downstroke, move it around. 
and inhale up, hold it here, and exhale, relax, and kick the legs out. Now, speaking of the legs, let's stretch them out. Let's start with both at the same time. Palms in front of the abdomen, we'll do a forward bend. So inhale, reach out to the side, and exhale into a stretch, then roll the palms up, lift up. Now exhale, reach out, and just hinge at the hip and let the arms drop. So the upper torso is pulling on the back of the legs, okay? So that's your stretch. Now we're gonna add the breath and we'll it'll probably let you come down a little bit more, but try not to curve the back. It's not how low you go. So inhale and exhale, just relax a little bit more to that stretch again through the nose. That's inhale and exhale. Just feel yourself relaxing into that stretch for the back of the legs should feel really good through the nose. Let's inhale and exhale even more deeply into that stretch for the back of the leg. Now, when we inhale, slowly come on up and exhale, just relax and just kick the legs out. <laughs> All right, now let's do the right leg. Step forward with your right foot, hands on the hips. We inhale up and then exhale, keep the front leg straight and just hinge at the hip to keep the back straight. We're just focusing on one leg now and just feel it, just get into it. Bring your mind into the back of the leg. Let's add the breath through the nose. Let's inhale. When you exhale, just feel that stretch coming. It should be nice and enjoyable stretch. Again, inhale and exhale. Oh, what a good stretch that is. One more time. Inhale and exhale. It feels so good to me to stretch like this. Then inhale, come up and exhale, relax and kick the legs out. Just relax. Now let's do the other side. Let's inhale up and then exhale. Just hinge at the hip and hold it here. Then inhale and exhale into that stretch. Again, through the nose, that's inhale and exhale a little bit more into that stretch for the back of the leg. One more time, inhaling and exhaling even more deeply into that stretch. Now, when we inhale, slowly come up. And when you exhale, just relax. All these exercises you should kind of enjoy and don't overdo it, all right? Now, let's... Uh, work on some of the exercise that we're going to do um, with weights, but I'm going to recommend you don't do them with weights and just make a tight fist with these and just um, kind of like you uh, just, just focus and rely on the uh, isometric action to uh, make a fist, all right? So we're not moving, we're just holding tight. So, so let's bring this, these fists up to our shoulders and bend the knees. So we're gonna do it, uh, take our right hand up and step out to the right with our right foot. So we inhale up, in, take an inhale, and then exhale up and put calf, and then inhale down. Now let's do the other side. Exhale, and then inhale, that's one time. Exhale, and then inhale, exhale, and inhale too. Tight fist, exhale, and inhale, Exhale and inhale makes three. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale makes four. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale is five. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale is six. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale is seven. If you're in a chair, straddle the chair and inhale. Exhale and inhale two more. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale one more. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale no more. Then inhale and exhale. Lower the palms and just shake them all around. Shift the shoulders, bottom the head, <laughs> and kick the legs out a little bit. All right, let's. Uh, Let's get some three heart opening breaths. Palms in front of the abdomen and inhale. Just give it a nice stretch and then exhale. This relaxes the body and puts the body back into balance again. Inhale and stretch and exhale one more time. Inhale, big breath, and then exhale. The body loves the oxygen that we're doing today. Now we'll do a squat with a punch. So uh, again, I'm not recommending you use weights. You just kind of make it work for you. So uh, make a tight fist, all right? And I want you to bend the knees and come down into a squat. So we're gonna uh, rise up and punch forward with our right hand, and then we'll come back down and rise up and punch with the left. So we begin with an inhale, and then exhale, push out, then inhale, come down, 
Exhale, push out and inhale down. Exhale, push out and inhale down. Exhale, push out and inhale, that's two. Exhale, push out and inhale, come down. Exhale, push out and inhale makes three. Exhale, push out and inhale, come down. Exhale, push up and inhale, that's four. Exhale, push up and inhale, come down. Exhale, push up and inhale, five more. Exhale, push up and inhale, come down as much as you want. Exhale, push up and inhale is six. Exhale, push up and inhale, come down. Exhale, push up and then inhale, three more. Exhale, push up. Inhale, come down. Exhale, push out. And inhale, two more. Exhale, push out. And inhale, come down. Exhale, push out. And inhale, one more. Exhale, push out. Inhale, come down. Exhale, push out. And inhale, no more. Then inhale up. Exhale, lower the palms and just kind of shake the, shake the palms. They get a little stiff from making a fist like that all that while. Shoot the shoulder, bobble the head, kick the legs out. Uh, let's just take a little sip of water. Um, you should always try to have water with you and kind of sip just to kind of wet the whistle. You know your body's wet and water's a great conductor of electricity, so you want to keep it nice and wet. Just makes you uh, think sharp, just keeps you sharp. All right, now this is called a tricep kickback. So I want you to bend the knees and... Uh, Bring, uh, make a tight fist and pull it up to your chest. We're just gonna extend our arms on the exhale. So I want you to begin with an inhale and exhale, extend the arms behind you, then inhale up, exhale two, inhale up, exhale three, inhale up, exhale four, inhale up, exhale five, inhale up, exhale six, inhale up, exhale three more, Inhale up, exhale, then inhale, exhale, then inhale one more, exhale, and inhale no more. Then inhale up and exhale. Drop the palms down, shake the shake the palms, kick the legs up. <laughs> All right, now let's do a, a march with a bicep curl. So we're gonna bring our right knee up and uh, excuse me, our right hand up, and then the left knee will come up. So opposites come up and we, we, we have our, uh, make a fist down to the side. And when you do the bicep curl, you kind of twist your palm so it's facing upwards and then you twist it back down so it's like a hammer, okay? So, and then uh, bring your foot up at the same time. Bringing the foot up is optional though. So it depends on how well your balance is. You can kind of play with that, all right? Start with the right side. It's inhale up and then exhale down, left side, inhale up, and exhale makes one. In, exhale, then inhale, exhale, then inhale, exhale, and inhale, exhale, and inhale is four. Exhale, and inhale, exhale, and inhale five more. Exhale, and inhale, exhale, and inhale, Six, exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale three more. Exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale last two. Exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale one more. Exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale no more. Then shake it out, kick the legs out, shim the shoulder, loosen up. Three hard opening breaths for the oxygen, palms in front of the abdomen, and inhale, stretch it out, and then exhale two more. Inhale, big stretch, and exhale one more. Inhale, big stretch, and then exhale. Well, can you feel your heart rate coming up a little bit? And this next one will be an overhead press. So as you do the press, you wanna kind of make it work for you and not, uh, uh, you want to kind of use it as a, like a, a, a stretch. So you want to stretch the body when we do this. All right, so our feet are about maybe even as much as shoulder width apart. And then make a fist by your side. Then inhale up to the shoulders and exhale, come down. All right, 
So we'll lift up and stretch. We begin with an inhale and then exhale, lift up and inhale, come down. Exhale, lift up and inhale, that's two. Exhale, lift up and inhale makes three. Exhale, lift up and inhale, that's four. Exhale, lift up and inhale, that's five more. Exhale, lift up and inhale makes six. Exhale, lift up and then inhale three more. Exhale, lift up and inhale two to go. Exhale, lift up and inhale one more. Exhale, lift up and inhale no more. Then inhale, straighten up, and then exhale, lower the palms, shake them all around, shift the shoulder bubble head, kick the legs out. All right, now let's try a bent over row. So our feet about hip to between hip and shoulder width apart, so where it's comfortable. And then uh, make a fist and bend forward and bend the knees, okay? And the back is straight. We're not curving the back. So don't go like this. Keep that back straight, all right? So all we're doing is going to pull the elbows behind our back. In other words, the fist will come up to our chest. So we begin with an inhale and then exhale, pull up, and then inhale, come one. Exhale, pull up, and then inhale, that's two. Exhale, pull up, and inhale makes three. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, that's four. Exhale, pull up, and then inhale, five more. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, make six. Exhale, pull up, and then inhale, come down. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, two more. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, come down. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, no more. And then inhale, straighten up, and exhale, shake the palms, kick the legs out. Let's do three hard opening breaths, palms in front of the abdomen, and inhale, give it a big stretch. And exhale, oh, again, through the nose. Inhale, enjoy the oxygen cocktail. And exhale, <laughs> one more time. Inhale, give it a nice stretch, and then exhale. All right, next one's a hammer curl. So a hammer curl, we just kind of, we don't like, not like the bicep curl where we twist our fist up, we just come straight up. And now the knees are soft, not locked. And the uh, fist by our side. So we begin with an inhale and then exhale, pull up. And then inhale, come down. Exhale, pull up and inhale, lower. Exhale, pull up and then inhale makes three. Exhale, pull up and inhale, that's four. Exhale, pull up and inhale, five more. Exhale, pull up and inhale, that's six. Exhale, pull up and inhale, three more. Exhale, pull up, inhale, last two. Exhale, pull up and inhale, one more. Exhale, pull up and inhale, no more. <laughs> then come up and exhale. And then just shake the palms, give the shoulder, bottle the head. Three hard opening breaths, palms from the abdomen, and inhale, give it a nice stretch, and exhale again. Inhale and stretch, and exhale one more. Inhale, stretch it out, and exhale. All right, this next one is an overhead triceps extension. So I want you to kind of bend the knees and make a, just clasp your hands here, and we're gonna drop the hands behind our back. So the knees are bent, so inhale, I want you to straighten the knees, and then exhale, bend the knees to push up. Now we're gonna begin with an inhale. Now exhale, push up and straighten the knees, then inhale, come down. Exhale, push up, and inhale, that's two. Exhale, push up, and inhale makes three. Exhale and stretch, and inhale, that's four. Exhale and stretch, and then inhale, that's five. Exhale and stretch, and then inhale, make six. Exhale and stretch, and inhale, three more. Exhale and stretch, and inhale, last two. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, one more. Exhale, we stretch, and inhale, no more. Then inhale up, and exhale, drop the palms down, then just shake them all around. Shift the shoulder, bobble the head. Let's do three hard opening breaths. Palms from the abdomen, and inhale, give it a nice big stretch. And exhale again to the nose. That's inhale and stretch. And exhale one more. Inhale and stretch. And exhale. Now I'd like you to pull up a chair and let's just sit down for a moment. Mm -hmm. We've got 
three heart opening breaths. Uh, and then we'll go into a relaxation while we're sitting. Palms in front of the, oh, you got, everyone got a chair? Okay. You take a sip of water too, by the way. I almost forgot that. <laughs> Have a sip. Mm. That is so good. All right, while we're sitting, three heart opening breaths, palms in front of the abdomen, and inhale, stretch, and then exhale two more. Inhale, stretch, and exhale one more. Inhale and stretch and exhale, relax. Now sit up straight, shoulders over the hips, knees over the ankles, put the back of the palms face up or face down behind your knees and just relax the shoulders. Look down to the ground or close your eyes for a moment and just let the body deeply rest. The way to let the body deeply rest is simply to bring your mind's awareness into the body. So everything about you becomes a breath. What I mean is when you're inhaling, all your focus, you're aware of the body rising when you're inhaling. When you're exhaling, you just feel the body completely relaxing. Now, I want you to just follow the breath. Let the breath take what it needs and then just follow. My, my breath is asking for a little bit more than what a normal breath might be right now because I'm calling for more oxygen because of the exertion I put into my exercise. How about you? You do the same thing, maybe. Our heart rate is up. We're just going to bring it down a little bit and just relax and rest for a moment. And you might start to feel the tingling inside your body. This is every cell that's getting washed and rinsed, restoring you to your state of perfect health. So when I say a cell getting washed and rinsed, it means that we've done a lot of breathing into, and we've drawn a lot of oxygen into the body. And the power of oxygen is, uh, is there's energy in it. And when the scientists looked at it, they looked very deeply into this oxygen molecule. And, you know, they, they can get so far and they, they still can't detect the uh, actual energy of it you know, in a physical sense. They know it's there, but they just can't uh, picture it. They can't get uh, a diagram on it. <laughs> it just is. So now the, uh, they call it the life particle. Some scientists call it the God particle. But this wonderful energy that uh, is flowing through your body and it goes into a cell and like when it travels into a cell, it's like walking into a room and that cell is flooded with light energy. It's, uh, so you're, it's like walking into a room and flipping on a light switch and it blows away the darkness, which we uh, are exhaling in the form of carbon dioxide. So we're inhaling fresh, clean, positive energy. When we exhale, we're releasing all the stagnant energy, let it go. Can you feel some tingling through your body? Doesn't that feel good? Just keep enjoying it. So if you think you're not feeling anything, just whatever you are feeling, that's what it's all about. <laughs> feeling something in the body. And if you're thinking, you won't feel it. If you start to have a conversation with yourself while you're trying to relax, you'll you'll go wherever that conversation takes you, but you most likely won't be here. And the whole idea is just to be present and in the moment with what you're doing in this moment, because it's here that you're so absolutely perfect in every way. And I mentioned this to you, so you can relax and let go and just uh, give the mind a break. When you give the mind a break, the body gets a break. When the body gets a break, you relax the tissue. When you relax the tissue, the energy, both cardio and uh, vascular, both vascular and your energetic system flow much freer throughout your body. And it's here that you probably feel a wonderful tingling sensation right now. Okay, now I invite you to open your eyes. Let's clasp our hands in front of our abdomen. So when we inhale, bring the clasped hands up to our chest. Let's roll them forward as we exhale, extend the arms into a stretch. Then inhale and exhale a little bit more deeply into that stretch. Now when we inhale, lift the palms up. When we exhale, look up to stretch. One more breath. Inhale, just stretch it out and then exhale, lower the body down. Stretching is important for the body. The body loves it. Take your right hand to the left knee. When we inhale, reach around behind. 
and exhale into a twist. One more breath. Inhale, let's twist a little more deeply and exhale, spin around to the other side. So it's inhale and exhale into a twist. One more breath. Inhale, let's twist a little more deeply and exhale, come on back to our starting position. <laughs> oh, good job. All right, now I, uh, I'm gonna uh, recommend we stand up and uh, we're gonna pick some weights. Uh, weights are optional. You don't have to use weights. Um, and uh, you can, uh, if you want to use something a little bit more stronger, you can uh, put a water bottle on your hand if you want, if you don't have weights, and that's fine. Um, but just uh, get something that uh, you think would be kind of good for you to work with. So this first exercise, we're going to do an overhead uh, uh, reach with the side tap. We'll start with the right uh, side. So we'll do the right arm, extend it up, and tap to the right. So we're gonna start with bringing the weights up to our shoulders. So let's inhale them up. So it's inhale up and then exhale, uh, have the palms facing forward. Now, here we go, right side first. So we start with an inhale and then exhale, push up, then inhale, come down. Exhale, other side and the inhale, that's one. Exhale, push up and inhale down. Exhale, push up and inhale, that's two. Exhale, push up and inhale down, exhale, push up, and inhale makes three. Exhale, stretch, and then inhale, come down. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, that's four. Exhale, push up, and inhale, come down. Exhale, stretch, and then inhale, five more. Exhale, stretch, and then inhale, come down. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, let's slow it down, that's six. Exhale, push up. And then inhale, come down, exhale, push up, and inhale, three more. Exhale, push up, and inhale, come down, exhale, push up, and inhale, two more. Exhale, push up, and inhale, come down, exhale, push up, and inhale, one more. Exhale, push up, and inhale, come down. Exhale, push up and inhale no more. Then inhale and exhale, lower the weights. And it's good to put your weights on a chair or a table uh, so you're not bending down to the floor to get them every time. Then come back and join me without weights. We'll do three hard opening breaths, but first shake it up, shimmy the shoulders, bobble the head, put the palms in front of the abdomen and inhale, give it a nice stretch and exhale. Again, you don't have to use weights if you don't want. Inhale and stretch. And exhale, one more. Inhale, give it a big stretch. And then exhale. Uh -huh. All right, now let's grab the weights. This next one's going to be a squat with a punch. So. So with the weights to the side, your feet about... Uh, maybe as much as shoulder width apart, so you have a good base of support. We're gonna come into a squat and put, bring the weights up to our uh, uh, shoulders. So we inhale, come down, and then exhale, hold it here. Now let's take an inhale, and then exhale, punch out with your right, and then, then come down. Exhale, just twist your arms so the palm is down, and then come down. Exhale, push out, and then inhale, come down. Exhale, push out, and inhale, that's down. Exhale, push out, and then inhale, come down. Exhale, push out, and inhale makes three. Exhale, push out, and inhale, come down. Exhale, push out, and inhale makes four. Exhale, push out, and inhale, come down. Exhale, push out, and inhale makes five. Exhale, push out, and inhale, come down. Exhale, push out, and inhale, make six. Exhale, push out. And inhale, come down. Exhale, push out. And inhale, let's slow it down. Exhale, push out. And inhale, come down. Exhale, push out. And inhale, two more. Exhale, push out. And inhale, come down. Exhale, push out. And inhale, one more. Exhale, push out and inhale, come down, 
Exhale, push out and inhale, no more. Then inhale up and exhale, lower the weights. And then put the weights on a table or your chair. Come back and join me to shake things up a little bit. Shim the shoulder, bottle the head, take the legs out. Let's do three heart opening breaths, palms for the abdomen and inhale, give it a nice big stretch and exhale two more. Inhale and stretch and exhale one more. Inhale and stretch and then exhale. Okay, now we're gonna do a tricep kickback. So grab your weights. Now, what we're gonna do is uh, bend forward and then bring the weights up to the chest for position. Now, all we're gonna do is extend our arms behind us, okay? So we begin with an inhale and then exhale, push back, and then inhale, return. Exhale, push back, and then inhale, that's two. Exhale, push back, and inhale, that's three. Exhale, push back, and inhale, that's four. Exhale, push back, and inhale, that's five more, a little slower. Exhale, push back, and then inhale, come up. Exhale, push back, and inhale, we do three more. Exhale, push back, and inhale, last two. Exhale, push back, and inhale, one more. Exhale, push back, and inhale, no more. Then inhale up, exhale, lower the weights, and then let's put the weights down to the side. And uh, come back, join me in the center. Shake the body up on the way back. Just kind of loosen up, kick the legs out, bobble the head. Let's do three heart opening breaths, palms from the abdomen and inhale, give it a nice big stretch and exhale two more. Inhale and stretch and exhale one more. Inhale and stretch and exhale no more. All right, this next one is a little more difficult. It's a march with a bicep curl. So when you're adding weights, you may not want to use the weights or you may want to. So we're gonna bring a, a bicep or a right palm and then lift the left, left knee up, okay? So arms are down by our side. We begin with an inhale. Now exhale, pull up, and then inhale, come down. Other side, exhale, pull up, and then inhale, that's one. Exhale, pull up, and then inhale, come down. Exhale, pull up and inhale makes two. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, come down. Exhale, pull up, and inhale makes three. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, come down. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, that's four. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, come down. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, five more. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, come down. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, that's six. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, come down. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, three more. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, come down. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, last two. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, come down. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, one more. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, come down. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, no more. Then inhale, and exhale, relax. Now put the weights away. Uh, over to the side, just temporarily. I got four more I want to take you through. Shake the body up, shim the shoulders, bobble the head. Let's do three heart opening breaths. Palms in front of the abdomen and inhale, give it a big stretch and exhale. Again, inhale and stretch and exhale one more. Inhale, big stretch and exhale. Now, before we grab the weights, let's just take a sip of water for a moment. Salute. Oh boy, that's good. So we're doing really good. Got four more exercises to do and then we'll do some body tapping. 
This is an overhead press. So get get the uh, weights that are comfortable because we're going to bring them over our head. Now we're going to bring them up to the shoulders. We'll inhale them up. So inhale up and then exhale to position. Now we begin with an inhale, then exhale, push up, then inhale, come down. Exhale, push up, inhale makes two. Exhale, push up, and inhale makes three. Exhale, push up, and inhale, that's four. Exhale, push up, and inhale, that's five. Exhale, push up, and then inhale, that's six. Exhale, push up, and inhale, three more. Exhale, push up, and inhale, that's two more. Exhale, push up, and inhale, one more. Exhale, push up, and inhale, no more. Then inhale, and exhale, come down, put the weights to the side. Shake it up, come back to the center. Let's do three hard opening breaths. Body needs more oxygen. Palms in front of the abdomen and inhale, give it a nice big stretch and exhale two more. Inhale and stretch and exhale one more. Inhale, give it a big stretch and exhale no more. All right, now this, this next one is going to be a, a, a bent over row. So this is where we pull our elbows behind the back. So feet are about hip width apart between hip and shoulder width, just somewhere in to make it comfortable. And just hinge at the hip and come down. Okay. We'll begin with an inhale, then exhale, pull up, then inhale, come down. Exhale, pull up, and inhale makes two. Exhale, pull up, and inhale makes three. Exhale, inhale is four. Exhale, and inhale five more. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale, and inhale three more. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale, and inhale one more. Exhale, and inhale. Then inhale up. <laughs> And exhale, relax, and then put the weights to the side. And then on the way back to the center, kind of shake up the body, loosen up, chin the shoulder, bobble the head, and three heart opening breaths. So it's inhale, open the chest and stretch, and exhale <laughs> again. Inhale, open the chest and stretch, and exhale one more. Inhale and stretch it out, and then exhale. All right, this next one's a hammer curl. All right, we're moving right along. We're doing really good. We got one more after this. So knees are bent, knees are soft. And we begin with an inhale and then exhale, pull up. Then inhale, come down. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale makes three. Exhale and inhale, that's four. Exhale and inhale five more, a little slower. Exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale, three to go. Exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale one more. Exhale and inhale, then <laughs> relax, inhale up and exhale. Let's put the weights to the side for a second. And shake it up on the way back to me. Three heart opening breaths. <laughs> Palms in front of the abdomen. And inhale, give it a nice big stretch. And exhale, two more. Inhale and stretch. And then exhale, one more. Inhale and stretch. And then exhale. Now, this next one's going to be an overhead tricep extension. You can uh, do it without weights. We're just going to put it behind the back of our head, or you can put two weights together or just hold on to one weight, make it work for you. I'm going to take the same two that I've been using and try it that way and just clasp them together. 
You just want one weight, just clasp it together. If you want no weight, just clasp your hands. So we're gonna inhale to position. So inhale up and then exhale to position. We begin with an inhale, then exhale, pull up, and then inhale, come down. Exhale, pull up, and inhale makes two. Exhale, pull up, and inhale makes three. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, that's four. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, that's five. Exhale, pull up, and inhale is six. Exhale, pull up, and inhale three more. Exhale, pull up, and inhale, last two. Exhale, pull up, and inhale one more. Exhale, pull up, and inhale no more. Then inhale, lift the weights up, and exhale, put them in the front, lower the weights, and then we're done with the weights now. Put them off to the side, and Shake it up, shimmy the shoulder. Let's do three hard opening breaths, palms from the abdomen and inhale, stretch it out and exhale. Again, through the nose, that's inhale and stretch and exhale one more. Inhale and stretch and exhale. All right, body padding is a great way to stimulate uh, bone tissue. Uh, I recommend you take your glasses off because we're gonna do around the head and the face. And, uh, you want to tap hard enough so you send shock waves into the bone and just get the, the blood flowing throughout the body as we do this. So let's start tapping all around this flat bone on the top of our head. Come to our crown, come down behind our head, come behind the ears, on top of the ears, and then all around the temples, the temples. Uh huh. A little, you feel a little bit of uh, sensitivity. Kind of feel, could feel good to you. It feels good to me. Now, all around the forehead, the forehead, the forehead. Come down to the eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. Outside corners of the eyes, come on down to the eye sockets. Come below the nose on the upper level of the gum line, come up to the back teeth, and then come back down again, jump down to the lower level, all around the chin. <laughs> come on underneath the jaw, come up to the back of the jaw. So we're gonna make some noise in a moment. So I think you might be able to unmute yourself. Uh, they'll let you know if you can. And come behind the ear, jawbone. Okay, now we're gonna do scrunchy face and open face. Okay, so this is a really good stretch for the face. So I think you can uh, unmute yourself if you want and you can help me make a sound. It's, uh, it's really good to make the sound and stick the tongue out when we do open face because it gives it a good stretch and you release stagnant energy. So it's a very positive experience. Really tighten the fist and scrunch it up. Want to squeeze it out, squeeze the eyes. All right, give it a good squint. All right, on the count of three, we're just gonna do the opposite called open face and you can make a sound and stick your tongue out. One, two, three. Okay, good job. Make it really tight now. Uh, just scrunch it out, squeeze the eyes, squeeze the nose. Wiggle the ears. One, two, three. Ah. <laughs> okay, one more time. Give it a good squeeze. Oh, as tight as you can. Yeah, here we go. One, two, three. Ah. <laughs> okay, now just lower your eyes to the ground. Standing, I don't want you to close your eyes. <laughs> and just relax for a second. And feel the tingling in your face. Yeah, my face feels a little wet because I'm starting to perspire. <laughs> All right, now take your right arm out and thumb up and drop the head down and start tapping right with the shoulder connects to the neck. This goes right down to the lungs, so it kind of impacts the bones around the lungs. And then on top of the shoulder, top of the bicep, top of the forearm, start coming down the forearm. This is great for the connective tissue. On top of the forearm, uh, top of the thumb, top of the fist, Pinky the karate chop, lower wrist. And start coming up the forearm to the elbow, elbow, tricep, tricep, armpit, armpit. And now do the upper part of the chest. Now let's go to the other side. <laughs> All right. And drop the head down on top of the shoulder, top of the bicep, top of the forearm. Start coming down the forearm to the wrist, up to the thumb. On the fist, pinky the karate chop, lower wrist. Start coming up the forearm. 
to the elbow, tricep, tricep, armpit, armpit, okay, upper part of the chest. Now, when I go, I want you to follow me. Let me go first. When I go ha, you go ha. When I go ha ha, you go ha ha. Now, laughter is really good for you. If you listen to this, we're going to just let ourselves go free and fall in. Yeah, just fall in with the laughter. Okay, ready? Ha! 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 Ha 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 in your shoulders. Let's smooth out the energy and sweep down to the toes and just say it feels so good. Ready? It feels so good. Oh, good job. Let's do that again. It feels so good. Okay, this last time in respect to my Korean master, let's say it, I shawanada. That's the translation for it feels so good. I shawanada. Ready? I sure not. It's hard to say, I know. Okay, join me for a little fire. 